If you're like most people, you're probably thinking to yourself, where on earth are Tesla going to get enough batteries to make the Cybertruck? And maybe that's the reason that Morgan Stanley believe the Cybertruck isn't real. It's just like a Ferrari that, that's what they actually said. It's Tesla's Ferrari. It's a niche product. They're only going to sell it in very small numbers as a, like a, a brand promoter. But I don't agree with that. And considering the fact that Tesla now has a production line and two separate battery production areas in two different states for the Cybertruck, I'm pretty confident that I'll, I'll eventually get my Cybertruck that I ordered all the way back in 2018. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans. Welcome to all the new subscribers. We started this channel just yet 24 months today, actually. But since then, we've created 3,000 videos. Thank you to everyone for your support all along the way. Also, massive thank you to our Patreon supporters, YouTube members, and every one of the 4,300 people that have donated. My wife's GoFundMe cancer fundraising efforts because without you, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't have been able to decrease the size of her tumors, which has been a, a, an amazing relief. Now, yeah, she's been in a fair bit of pain lately, but it's definitely getting better. Now, if you want to know more about that story, I'll put a link in the description. Tesla is building a new battery production line on the second floor of the Fremont factory, filings say in Northern California. Not many people know about this, as you wouldn't. It's weird, right? Why build a battery production line in Fremont when you're making the Cybertruck in Texas? Hmm. According to filings, Tesla has submitted to the city of Fremont in September of 2022. Tesla is building a battery production line on the second floor of the Fremont factory. It is the second battery pack manufacturing project at the plant. There is another production line, which is called a preliminary Cybertruck battery pack line on the same floor at the factory. So it's a bit confusing here. And Tesla already says that this project differs from the Cybertruck line as Tesla filed it under a completely different name and as a separate project. The Cybertruck lines are listed as CTA Battery B Build while the separate line is listed as Pack B Build. So it appears as though there's actually two different battery production lines for the Cybertruck at the factory in Fremont, which is surprising to me. Good work from Tesorati here to actually discover this information. I don't think this is very commonly known. This battery production line is taking shape and is several months into its construction, say the filings. While Tesla initially filed for the first permits in September of 2022, the most recent filing was submitted yesterday, meaning on the 19th of April. But there's already been one revision to the project, which occurred in December of 2022, and the first tool installations on the line were performed in February of 2023. So things are actually progressing. They didn't just start yesterday, fortunately for them. Fortunately for you, if you've ordered a Cybertruck. Fortunately for the 1.7 million pre-orders of the Cybertruck. I mean, that's a crazy number. Now, a lot of people are saying oh, people are not going to go through with these orders. They just did it for fun or they did it for, for giggles. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I put my 100 US dollars down, my 150 Australian dollars down, fully intending to buy a Cybertruck. Now, yes, the prices will be drastically different, but I'm pretty sure everyone knew they would be. Of course, as you can imagine, this is a big vehicle. It's a very big size of a Ford F-150. It's it's not going to be what the price was. Now, Ford's done the same thing. We all knew that Ford wouldn't stick with their $40,000 base price. They've increased the price five separate times. But here I believe that Tesla does fully intend to build millions of Cybertrucks. I don't believe they see it as a niche product. I think they'll just have to work out a way to make it work. That's what they intend on doing. And I think Morgan Stanley is completely wrong because Tesla absolutely does intend to build millions of these, but it won't happen for a while. I think they're right on that. It's going to take a few years for them to ramp production while these battery production lines increase. Now, having these two production lines for batteries at Fremont, building 4680 cells in Gigafactory in Texas, that's nowhere near enough. Tesla know this. They also need the factory in Mexico. I believe the factory in Mexico will build a battery production plant nearby using CATL's lithium ion phosphate technology. They'll then use these cells, which are increasing in, in energy density regularly. They're up about 10% this year. 
versus last year to put into base model Cybertrucks, making a more affordable Cybertruck, maybe around 50,000 US dollars. That's what I'll predict with that. Tesla may be making the line on the production line larger than originally planned based on new filings. And there's additional tooling station being planned as well as three additional airdrops. These new lines will likely supplement battery pack manufacturing for all four models, meaning the new Model 3, the new Model Y, the Model S, the Model X as well, which are produced at Fremont. When I say the new Model 3 and the new Model Y, I'm referring to the so-called refresh, which isn't a refresh, it's way more than a refresh. You haven't seen my video on that, I'll put a link in the description. Tesla has continued refining the Fremont factory over time, and its battery pack manufacturing efforts have been going on for years. Apparently, Tesla is still working on the dry electrode coating on the 4680 cells. They have some expert helping them with that currently. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know how far along they are with that, but hopefully they're progressing because it's taken quite a while. In recent memory, Tesla has established two new battery manufacturing lines. They've filed to build a new cell lab on the first floor of the Fremont factory, and they've made improvements to 4680 cell development at the Cato Road facility, says Tesorati. So things are going. I mean, they're moving. But I really think Tesla need the LFP cells. I think they need mass manufacturing of affordable LFP cells. I think Tesla agree with that. I've been saying this for a long time now. Tesla master plan, part three, right? That's what it calls for. I mean, 80% of the batteries that are being used as part of that are LFP cells based on Tesla's actual structure, their plan. Now, if you haven't seen my video on that, I'll put a link in the description. But yeah, clearly LFP cells are the future. And there's been rumors that Tesla will build a, battery, a massive battery facility in either Texas or Mexico for LFP cells. Now, what are your thoughts on that? Do you think that I'm right that Tesla will use LFP cells in the Cybertruck in the future, in say a base model variant? Or do you think they'll use 4680s or something else? Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.